But a cop told me to move along. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come on in and tell me all about it. Oh, Mary, New York was just fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely endless. The Philharmonic was in town. They were doing La Traviata at the Met. Oh. And imagine seeing Edward Villella dance with the uh, New York City Ballet. Oh, wow, oh. you did all that? <sighs> of course not. But you know it's there, right? <laughs> see, Mary, don't you see, here in, in Minneapolis, when nobody asks me out, it's nothing big. But there, when nobody asks me out, I'm not being asked out to a Broadway opening. Uh-huh, and not going to Sardi's afterwards. Right, I knew you'd understand. Uh-huh. Wait, would you like some coffee? Yeah, I would, kid. How are you folks? Oh, they're good. Pretty much the same old thing. Mostly we sat around the kitchen table talking over old times. Why Rhoda never married. <laughs> Why Rhoda may never get married. <laughs> Robert Redford, that was my topic. Uh-huh. <laughs> but generally, uh, everything was good? Oh, just terrific, terrific. Oh, Mary, you know that store, Bloomingdale's? Yeah, sure. Well, I was in there, and uh, guess what? What? <laughs> they offered me a job as a window dresser. Oh, yeah. hey, Rhoda, being able to turn something like that down must be so great for your ego. I mean, isn't Bloomingdale's, you know, sort of it for window dressers? Oh, yeah, Mary, it really is. The big time. Oh. <laughs> See, uh, I didn't turn it down. What? Now, I know, Mayor, the idea of you being here and me being there absolutely kills me. I'm gonna miss you like crazy, kid, but New York City really turned me on. I miss it. And. I don't know, it's such a great job offer. Well, yeah, Rhoda, sure, I can understand all that. No, no, really, but Mary, I said yes on an impulse, but it seems right. Aha, uh -huh, you said yes on an impulse. Yeah, but still, yeah, that's well, what that's I... entirely different. Rhoda, I know you and your spur-of-the-moment decisions. Oh, no. Look, we will talk about it quietly, calmly, and eventually you will decide what's right, and you'll stay right here. <laughs> we start next Monday. <laughs> next Monday? Yeah. So, uh, Mary, do you have any cartons? Cartons? Yeah. Oh, what do you like? Rhoda, come on, I know you. You're not going. Yes, I am. Not a chance. Come on, this is Rhoda Morgenstern. The I... same Rhoda Morgenstern who once swore she was going to lose weight by walking across the United States. <laughs> that was different. This time I'm really going. But I'm not walking, I'm flying. Okay, all right, all right. Now that we both know that you're not going, uh, what was the question? Do I have any cartons? Uh-huh, yes, I will need a great deal of them for packing and such. Right. Yes, Rhoda, I have a carton. And every time I go to the market, I will bring home more cartons, and soon you will have dozens and dozens of cartons stacked up in your apartment already and waiting for when you don't move to New York. Well, this will hold a wiglet. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs and unpack. So, I can start packing. <laughs> See you later, kid. She's not going. Hey, kid, I gave notice this morning to Phyllis on the apartment. Oh, that's terrific, Rhoda. That's just, get, you just keep right on doing things like that, giving notice, packing cartons. It's just gonna make it more embarrassing for you when you don't go to New York and you have to undo it all. Hey, look, Mary, a whole nice empty booklet with absolutely blank pages. Can you use this? What is it? My date book. <laughs> hey, Mayor, oh, I almost forgot. Can you do a favor for me? Yeah, what? Could I leave my goldfish with you? I didn't know you had a goldfish. Yeah. I named her Goldfish. Seems to fit. <laughs> yeah, I had her a couple of days now. I went out to get little Bess a present, and I went by this pet store, and there was this adorable goldfish with the cutest little gills, and looking up at me with those big, limpid eyes that seemed to say, Talk me home! <laughs> what could I do, man? Huh? Well, I thought you were going to give it to Bess. Yeah, I thought so, too, but Phyllis started carrying on about how she only has rare tropical fish in her tank and would not allow a mongrel fish in there. Oh, yeah. Phyllis and her fish. But you know, Mary, it's just as well. I guess I always wanted a pet. I just didn't want to get a poodle or anything. You know how dumb people are with poodles? They talk to them like they're people. Yeah. <laughs> Don't they do, Dad, Mommy? <laughs> Hello to Auntie Mary, goldfish. <laughs> See those bubbles, Mary? That's high Auntie Mary in goldfish. <laughs> Come on and say uh, hello to goldfish, Auntie Mary. No. <laughs> She's just shy. So, Mary, will you do it? Will you take care of my darling goldfish? 
Do I have to flush it down the toilet? <laughs> I will take care of it. You'd be amazed what good company she is. She's uh, fairly quiet, uh, not a fussy eater, and generally amuses herself. <laughs> I have no idea. Hi there, Barry Barlow. Hi. Hi there. Hi there. I was just kind of uh, looking around for a new bachelor pad, and Mrs. Lindstrom sent me up to look at this one. You chicks, uh, roommates? Uh, no, no, this is her pad thing. Where do you live? Oh, well, I live elsewhere. Far out. Hey, this pad is really something. I think I could really get it together here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, that Mrs. Lindstrom, she's not going to give me a hard time about entertaining chicks up here, is she? Oh, uh, well, he... Last place I lived, I was going out with three different chicks all at the same time. Airline stewardesses on different shifts, if you can dig that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Barry, this is fascinating, but I have a great deal of packing to do, so if you don't mind... Go right ahead and pack. Yeah, this place is really okay. You know, it's only five minutes from the store. I'm in shoes. Discount shoes. Of course, for new neighbors, I can always discount the discount. Oh, well, that's very nice of you, but uh, I, I don't think... Name of the are... game. I can put you into a pair of Italian boots, new slim heel, for, say, eleven ninety nine. Huh. What are you, about a uh, 7A? B. Right. Anyway, after I move in, we can talk about it over a little martini. Gee, Barry, I, um, I really, uh... I, I, I don't, uh, think so. Why not? Well, because cause I'm, uh... You're what? Getting married tomorrow. Oh. Right, tomorrow. And I'm really so busy. Lots to do. Oh, right. Yeah, we still have a lot of tin cans to tie to her bumper. Right. <laughs> Well, let me know if the old wedding falls through. Will do. Ciao. <laughs> oh, Rhoda. You see what you'd lead me to, Mr. Hi there, Barry Barlow. <laughs> I know, kid, I know. Well, I'm finally starting to make a dent in it. I'll be right back. I have to get some cartons from the hall. I've got to start shipping everything to New York tomorrow. Oh, Rhoda, hey, would you please stop saying that you're going to New York just as a favor to me? Because you're not going. You're staying right here. Isn't she goldfish? <laughs> Nod twice for yes. Both sides came to an agreement after 36 hours of steady across-the-table bargaining. Afterwards, negotiators said that the new contract would be like a brush of fresh air. <laughs> it's like a breath of fresh air. I can't take much more of this, Mary. Well, you better bear up. There's six more minutes to go. And so it appears the strike will be averted. That's all the news. This is Ted Baxter saying good news. Good night. Good night? What? There's six more minutes. The clocks are all lost up, right? No. We had to get off for an editorial, Greg, right? He just stopped. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> Say, anybody know how many calories in lasagna? <laughs> Tell you what are you doing? Get back in there! It's too late, Lou. They just brought a public service thing. I don't understand what everybody's so upset about. Ted, you stopped six minutes early. You see, Ted, usually when we give somebody 30 minutes of airtime, we assume that they'll use the entire 30 minutes. It's just this tradition we have. <laughs> That's what all that commotion was about when I left the studio. I was wondering. People waving their arms at me, people calling my name. I just thought they liked the show. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was stupid of me to make a mistake like that. <laughs> me, of all people. Of all people? You of no people. <laughs> Say, man, does Lou seem upset to you? Just stop six minutes early. But don't worry about it. Tomorrow I'll go six minutes longer. Hi, group. Hey, hi, Rhoda. Hi, Rhoda. Oh, gosh, I'm a little early, aren't I, Mayor? No, that's okay. Hey, Mer, the kid's taking me to a farewell dinner tonight. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tomorrow's the big day, the big move, huh? He's not going. Mary. Yeah, Mer, tomorrow. 
Hello, Rhoda. In honor of the occasion, here's a little something I got you. Oh, Murray, this is so sweet. Well, I hope you like it. Uh, Mary told me you had to give up your pets, so... <laughs> oh, how darling, a little enamel goldfish. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, it looks just like goldfish. <gasps> it isn't a death mask or anything, is it? <laughs> I just love it, Murray. Really thoughtful. Thank you. You're welcome. It's from both of us. What? <laughs> uh, thanks. Okay, sport, that little remark's gonna cost you four bucks. What? Four bucks for that cheap little thing? <laughs> look, look oh. what I got from Murray. And uh, sort of Ted. <laughs> for my going away. Oh, right. Yeah, Lou. Yeah. So, you're leaving Minneapolis. Yeah, right. Tomorrow. Where is it you're going? Oh, I'm going to New York. I guess your parents will be sorry to see you go. No, Lou, my parents live in New York. I guess your parents will be happy to see you come. <laughs> uh, I'll go in on that ceramic thing she's got on. Oh, no, Lou, you don't have to do that. No, I want to, Murray. That bird thing or whatever it is. <laughs> How much does that come to? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, Eight dollars split three ways is... Uh... Now, wait a minute. If it's split two ways, it's four. If it's split four ways, it's two. Yeah. So if it's split three Look, ways, uh, it's... split it four ways, it's simpler. I'll go in on it. Uh, <laughs> you can't go in on it. You're the one who's going away. Yeah, that's right. Hey, you really are, aren't you? You're going away. Well, if Rhoda's not going to chip in, neither am I. Uh, hey, how about some more wine? Yeah, sure. Good. Uh, I don't know if I should have any more of this stuff. Why not? Mm, I'm afraid of getting sloppy and sentimental, you know. What am I leaving in all, Mary? Really... I'm sort of emotional. But... Now, I don't want to start. Rhoda, I feel emotional about please, it, Please, Mary, please, let's not get into it. Now, point one, we've been, uh, you know, friends, okay? So point two, friends are supposed to miss each other. Therefore, point three, I will miss you. Okay? Right? Okay. Right. Good. Hmm. Hey, modest little wine. But I think you will be amused by its presumption. <laughs> An unassuming little wine, but I believe it will stain permanently if you spill it on your dress. <laughs> An elegant little wine. Mary, you're the best friend I ever had. I don't know what I would have done without you. Oh, no, I'm going to miss you so much. I mean, you just don't know. I'm really going to miss you. Mary. I just knocked my salad on the floor. <laughs> No, I heard. Mary, will you remember what I said before I knocked my salad over? Yeah, well, will you remember what I said? Oh, yeah. So, about your visiting me in New York. What do you think? Next weekend too soon? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mary. You know, something's just occurring to me. Tomorrow morning, I will be leaving Minneapolis. Which, strange as it sounds, is my home, where my friends are. To go to New York, where my friends aren't. Well, the only two people I know anymore are my, my parents, which is another story entirely. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, I guess so, right. Also, Mary, I am leaving an apartment that I just love. It's taken me four years to fix up and get perfect, even though there's still a lot wrong. <laughs> to go live in a smaller, more expensive apartment, which even if I find, I will have to decorate from scratch, right? Say right. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Mary, what you've been saying all along. I think it's true. What ha have I been saying all along? I'm not leaving. Rhoda... You gave up your apartment, your job, no, your car. Mary, do not try to talk me out of it. I'm staying. <laughs> talk you out of it, Rhoda? I think that's terrific. Oh, Mary, I'm not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the matter, kid? <clears throat> huh? Well, uh, there are 17 people hiding in my apartment. For what? <laughs> For your going away party. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Rhoda's leaving hemp 
people. I've been going crazy worrying about it. <laughs> See, I'm the other window dresser there. There are six windows. So now, instead of decorating three, I'll have to do six. <laughs> And it'd uh, be hard to dress six, huh? Oh, yes. I'm afraid I'd run out of things to say. Uh, hey, everybody, now, it's almost 8.30. Rhoda will be here in a minute. Uh, now, I think we should all hide. Oh, hide. <laughs> yeah, you know, just so we can all yell surprise and like that. Hey, fella, mm -hmm. is the crouching on or off here? I don't crouch. Uh, let's see, where shall I hide? Oh. Oh, excuse me. You may possibly recognize me. I'm Ted Baxter. Anchorman, uh, WGM Six O'Clock News. Oh, terrific. Are you covering this? <laughs> Me too. I'm not an expert or anything, but shouldn't the lights be out? Uh, somebody get the lights. Good point. So, Rhoda, why don't you come on in and we'll have a cup of coffee? my trees before I move in next week. Oh, hey, Barry. I was meaning to call you hey, in the morning. Hey, this place swing like this all the time? Well, uh, I'm gonna love living here. Oh, uh, why don't you uh, come in and have a drink, and we'll talk about just that. Right on. Uh, George Ed, will you get Barry a martini? I'd be happy to. Hi there, Barry Barlow. I love your beads. <laughs> Gee, Rhoda, I'm glad you decided to stay. Oh, Murray, you are so sweet. Hey, I think it's terrific that you guys came. I'm glad you're staying around, Rhoda. Thanks, guys. Well, Rhoda, so you're off to New York. <laughs> right, Ted. Well, may I wish you bon voyage? You know, good voyage. Yeah. Ted, Rhoda is not going to New York. She's staying in Minneapolis. That's what she just told us. Is that what she said? Mm -hmm. And everybody knew? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at me. The cheese stands alone. <laughs> so, Mary, uh, how's Mary life treating you? Oh, uh, fine. Just, just fine. I thought you'd be on your honeymoon. Oh, well, we're, we're leaving uh, right after the party. Mm -hmm. Where's the old bridegroom? Uh, right, right here. Uh, Mary Barlow, I'd like you to meet my person that you were asking about. Hi there. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing just fine, but I can see you're doing a little better. Married to a knockout like your wife. Uh, well, I don't know if she's a knockout, but I like her. Where do you meet her? We're old friends. If you hadn't have married her, I just might have. <laughs> 
I say, Mr. Huh? Uh, why, why don't we freshen your drink? Huh? How does he know Edie? Uh, he's in shoes. Shoes? Oh. Hey, group, listen, these presents. Since I'm not going away, I hope they're all things you can use, because I'm giving every one of them back. Oh, no. Aren't you going to open them just to see? No, I... I would open them, Rhoda, just to see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, George. <laughs> so we prevent anyone from dying of curiosity. Uh, let's open them just to see what my hall would have been. I'll uh, read the card so everyone can hear. <laughs> it is terrific he's going to read. <laughs> I just love his voice. Quiet, everybody. He's going to read. <laughs> <clears throat> This is Ted Baxter bringing you the six o'clock gift card. <laughs> love gorgeous. Love Georgette. But I love the way you say it anyway. <laughs> hey, look, everybody. Oh, oh, Georgette, it's just gorgeous, really. Thank you. It's just what I would have wanted. <laughs> you keep it as a memento, Rhoda. Oh, okay. Here, read another one. Mr. Baxter. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, for those of you who can't see, I'll describe it to you. Got a little doggy coming out of a little dog house. I think that's a mommy and daddy dog. Ted. From Rob. Oh, yeah, that's from me. I hope you like it. Terrific. A date book. Too bad it's not filled. <laughs> oh, no, no. No, uh, Ted, that, that card's for me, and I, I really wish... Everybody wish else is it. having their card read, Mary. Well, it's... <clears throat> Dear Rhoda, what do you get for your best friend at a time like this? I went out and bought three different things and took them all back. Just doesn't make any sense to buy some dumb gift that can never convey what you really feel, love, Mary. Boy, talk about your cheapos. <laughs> oh, you have a goldfish. Oh, well, no, that's Rhoda's. Oh, you're so lucky, Rhoda. I've always wanted one. I'm an animal lover myself. <laughs> Well, actually, I think it would be pretty hard to find one that wasn't just like that. <laughs> if you like it, Georgette, I'll give you the pick of the litter. You mean it? Promise. Oh, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. I'll be leaving in a minute. Mary? Yes, Jeff? I, uh, I'll be coming in late tomorrow. Okay. Oh. Don't you want to know why I'll be coming in late? <laughs> well, no, it doesn't make any difference. Because I met a little girl right here in this room tonight. I don't know if you know it's the sparse flying, but uh, that's uh, why I'm not coming in early tomorrow. Right. I mean, if anybody wants to know why I'm not coming in early, you explain to them exactly what happened here. Uh, uh, Ted, um, Georgia just got in her car and drove off. <laughs> I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. <laughs>